And staying with the election, it was a similar success story for the ruling party in the by-elections that were also held on Wednesday. The Democratic Party of Korea added 11 seats in the National Assembly, strengthening its position as the biggest party in parliament. And moments ago, we have learned that the co-chair of the minor opposition Paramita Party, Yoo Seung-min, have also confirmed that he will step down, taking full responsibility for that crushing defeat. And our Kim Mo-gen with more on what now expect what to now expect at the nation's parliament the ruling democratic party of korea claimed an overwhelming victory in wednesday's elections sweeping a total of 11 seats out of the 12 up for grabs in the national assembly this means the party succeeded in winning all of the 11 seats it put up a candidate for excluding the city of kim chun which went to the main opposition liberty korea party the ruling party retains its position as the largest party with a total of 130 lawmakers, widening its previous six-seat gap to a whopping 17-seat difference with the main opposition party. Now that the local and by-elections are finally over, the National Assembly is set to go back to business. But despite the ruling party's landslide victory, the dispute-prone atmosphere in the National Assembly is unlikely to change as the combined seats of the opposition party still gives them the majority and the agreement of the majority is required to pass a bill. In the coming weeks, a long row is expected among rival parties as they now have to face one of the most important tasks given to the parliament, the election of its leaders, especially the speaker and the members of the standing committees. The ruling party says the current custom of selecting the speaker from the largest single party should be kept, but the opposition claims there's no such rule. Kim Mo-gyeon, Arirang News.